Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal beat Chelsea at the bridge. It is not going to be, I know it was not going to be an easy game, but bro, bro, we dominated, bro. We deserve more goals. We, we see this in a lot of games, don't we? We play like a very, very fantastic team, but this time around, Chelsea, oh my God, nothing personal about me, Yang, but London is red, bro. London is bloody red, nothing personal. So, uh, more importantly, I would really like to say that uh, what a performance by Arsenal, what a performance by Mikel Arteta's tricky Reds. Uh, we're really having a blast in the Premier League, back to the top of the table. Really having a fantastic, fantastic season till now. Here's what Mikel Arteta had to say uh, after the game. He said, we are a young team, but we showed a lot of maturity today. A lot of composure, a lot of courage to play on this stage. That the way we have played, that's easy to say, but actually very difficult to do. I think the boys are absolutely phenomenal today. Yes, eight touches in 60 minutes for Aubameyang. Eight touches. Whoa. Also, Mikel Arteta is the first top six manager to defeat a top six team away this season. Well, not easy. Not easy for Mikel Arteta, is it? Up. Wow, what a game. What a game of football, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. What a game. Alexander Zinchenko playing in the midfield. What a game it was. So Mikel Arteta says it's a big win against a top club, a top manager and top class players. We dominated it, said Mikel Arteta. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, Gabriel Jesus should have scored that header, but there was a little bit of caution to his method. But hey, Mikel Arteta, while was standing, was managing Arsenal uh, in his career as an Arsenal manager for his 150th game, 87 wins amongst all the Arsenal managers ever. He has the highest win uh, in terms of games uh, in his first 150 games. Unflippin' believable record for Mikel Arteta. John Cross says, uh, the away dressing room is next to the press room at Stamford Bridge. It would be fair to say Arsenal are celebrating very loudly. Felt like a statement win that huge performance. Simon Colling says, Josh Kroenke is with the Arsenal players at the Stamford Bridge. Oh, sir, yes, he is. Hen I just said that Arsenal should have scored more goals. Henry Winter says, 1-0 doesn't do justice to Arsenal's superiority. Saliba, White, Jesus, party especially good. From back to front, Arsenal were better than a, uh, a disappointing, toothless Chelsea. Chelsea missing important players, but still had plenty of talent with simply underperformed. You could say that, but hey, I, I would not want to take the credit out of Mikel Arteta at all. No way, sir. No, sir. No chance. Moving on, let's talk about something really, really better, something <clears throat> really huge, and that is uh, Jose Luis Mendilibar, who is a Spanish player, uh, or uh, the coach as well now. He says on Arteta, he says, when I see Arsenal play, I identify footballing hallmarks that he told me he liked. Attack, fast, mobile players, no fixed positions, ball as reference. He maintains the style he showed as a player, but has injected the British style. Oh, yes, sir. He, Jose also says that I would say that he was already half British, now it will be more. What struck me the most is that he understood the game. He wasn't fast, but he hardly ever lost the ball and he always played it with sense. He drove well, but above all, he chose well. Yes, sir, he did choose well and fantastic, fantastic performance. Talking about Gabriel Jesus, Mikel Arteta said, the energy and the belief he transmits to the team is just phenomenal. That, in my opinion, is his biggest quality. His all-round play today was phenomenal. He didn't score, but what he did for the team was outstanding. And talking about what impressed him the most, uh, sorry, uh, talking about, uh, yeah, on responding to Manchester City's win against Fulham, Mikkel said, well, obviously, we, went, we want to get back and be at the top. The challenge for us was to come to this stage against a top team and play and perform the way we, we've done today. We deserve to win the game and the boys did that. Oh, yes. The boys did more than that. The boys dominated. Dominated. And more importantly, the dominator. Dominator. Is, has had destroyed everything. William Saliba was the man of the match for his performance against Chelsea. What a game. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about Granit Xhaka on grinding out wins. He says, listen, after the, first, after the season, nobody asks uh, you how you win in November or December. Uh, we are trying to get a lot of points, as many as possible. And after, let's see what where we end. We are so happy that everything is going well at the moment. We are keeping everything the coaches are telling us. 
and these are the results. Oh yes, sir, it is William Saliba against Chelsea, baby. 72 touches, 13 times possession, 1. 3 clearances, 3 duels, 1. 3 interceptions, 2 tackles, 2 touches in the opposition's box. 2 accurate long balls, 1 block, 0 times dribbled pass. Well, well, well. And Arsenal have now won away to Chelsea at the bridge for the 3 consecutive seasons. And it has been, it has been phenomenal. It has been phenomenal. Un flipping believable. William Saliba killed it. Everyone killed it. You just can't name one person who was your man of the match. Let me know in the comments. And as I said, you can't have one man of the match for this game. Well, let's talk about another guy who really, really bossed it. And that was Benjamin White. Unflippin' believable. 80% passing accuracy. 69 touches. 5 out of 6 ground duels won. 4 clearances. 2 long balls completed. 1 key pass. 1 tackle won. And then there was more. Thomas Teye Partey had 90 minutes played and 75 touches, 52 passes, 92.9% .9 accuracy and 6 long balls, which 100% completion, 2 dribbles, which is also 100% completed as well. 6 ground duels won, uh, um, uh, uh, 6 ground duels attempted, 5 won, 3 clearances, 2 interceptions, 2 tackles, 1 clean sheet. He was... I'm afraid to say this, he was unplayable, was he? In the midfield, wow, what a what a dominance Arsenal showed. What a performance. We're grinding results at the bridge, yo. We're grinding results at the bridge. It's not easy at all, and we're getting it through, and I think we deserve this. We've been in the trenches, I think we definitely deserve this, man. There's no way we, 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 we would want to underplay whatever we are achieving this season. But hey, let's move on. According to Tom Hopkinson, where it looks like Arsenal's development to scout for young, great players is still going on and they are keeping tabs on Vittoria Guimaraj's defensive midfielder, Ibrahima Bamba. Guimaraj have been uh, told that Arsenal want to be kept abreast of any developments should they decide to let him leave. Yes, Ibrahima Bamba is a player that Arsenal are very much interested in. But for sure, I personally would want to know where are, where do Arsenal stand for Mikhail Mudrik? What happens to Mikhail Mudrik, bro? Like IG, what happens to Mikhail Mudrik? I want I want him at Arsenal, man, bro. He's really talented. So Fabrizio Romano says, for sure Arsenal remain interested. They are following him for a long time, but nothing decided. Shakhtar want more than 60, 60 to sixty five million euros to sell him now, and it's not easy. The race is open. If Arsenal really want him, they have to move fast. Yes, I think the way Arsenal did the business in the last window where they had identified the players and thank goodness uh, for some players it was not difficult to get and for some players it was really impossible to get but we moved it early in the window. That's what I liked and that's what I would want Arsenal to move in the upcoming windows as well. Also, Diego Firmino uh, says that uh, proposal that must come from Arsenal to Danilo is 25 million plus 5 million bonuses. Palmeiras would keep 15%. That means a sell-on fee that, that needs to be included. Let's see if that's going to be agreed upon or not. I will see the next one. And if you enjoyed it, let me know who was your man of the match for the game tonight. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.